Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in this Cotton multi-platform playlist in which I will show you how you can generate executable files for all the typical common platforms. So that involves Android, iOS and desktop, for desktop specifically on macOS, Linux and Windows. Since once we build a specific app, we of course want to distribute that in some sense or at least generate an executable file you can share with your friends. Let's get right into it and start with Android. For Android, we need to work with so-called APK files. Those are in the end really just zip files that include all the resources your Android app needs to be installed. Or alternatively, if you want to distribute that app to Google Play, then you need an Android app bundle, so an AAB file, which is a more optimized extension that will only install those resources for a specific device that it actually needs. So for example, if you are running your app on a very high resolution device and your app also ships with images specific for low resolutions, then you might not need to package these low resolution images into the APK or the high resolution device. And this is something Google Play takes care of, but it wants your Android app to be in the format of AAB. And the way you can do this, um, I just opened a random KMP project here, this one from the last video. Um, you can open any new Compose multi-platform project and follow along. For Android, you want to go to build generate a signed app bundle or APK. You can also say um, build app bundles and APKs and then build an APK. That will be totally enough if you just want to get an APK you can install on a device that is signed with a debug key store so that you can't really um, publish to Google Play. But if you just want to share that maybe internally in the team, this one here will completely be enough. But to upload it to Google Play, you will need to go to generate signed app bundle or APK. Then this will pop up if you want to generate a signed APK, pick that one, but you usually choose this option when you really want to publish your app to Google Play. So we want to pick Android app bundle, click next. Now you need to come up with a key store path. So where you store that key that signs your APK so that Google really knows that it's you who also publishes maybe updates to this specific app. You can click create new, click here on this folder icon to select a key store path. So where, where you want to save this, I'll just create a new folder here as a sample and call that maybe um, key store or so and we call this uh just keystore.jks that is the format we want this to be in then we need to pick a password so we pick one repeat it pick key zero as the alias also choose a password you could even use the same one here um, but i think for security you should use a different one just for um a demo i will use the same one here we need to enter some certificate details i think at least the first and the last name organizational unit organization i don't know enter some of your details click ok and then this will be applied here you can also tick remember passwords then you don't always need to type this here in android studio when you generate a signed android bundle you want to click next and then you can pick which specific build type you want to build this with. So debug will just be the debug variant. But typically when you release this, you obviously want the release variant. So we click release, click create, and then Android Studio will build your project, will create a release Android app bundle, which you can then find link here in your generated build folder under outputs. Um, but it's still not finished with building. And after that, I will show you where you can find this. Ah, now it is. Um, it's Apparently not under outputs, I think it's intermediates. Oh, we can also just do it very easily and click on view files here. Oh no, this is from Git. But once I rebuild that or generate it again, you will find this locate button here, which you can click and then the bundle will pop up in your finder here. So the path is the project hierarchy compose app release. Yes. Um, so let's take a look if we can locate that as here as well. It's not in under build, sorry, uh, but it is in a separate release folder here. But we have our compose app release AAB. And this is not the file you would push to Google Play. Next up, let's talk about how we can distribute our iOS app. iOS works with so-called IAB files and is a lot stricter in that regard than on Android. Um, so an iOS directly has the integrated distribution wizard in uh, Xcode. So you can directly distribute your app inside of your Xcode IDE. So let's go to, what is that, iOS app here, your iOS app folder, open this Xcode project and select this Xcode workspace, right click, open in Xcode. You of course need to be on a Mac OS environment here. And then there we go. Here we are in Xcode now with our iOS entry point. And here we want to go to product destination, and then we tick 
any iOS device. So this is what we want to do. We want to build our uh, our app here for any iOS device on this ARM64 architecture. Select this. And then now that this is selected here, I want to go to product and call archive. Build failed. Um, why? Because signing for iOS requires a development team. Um, if we click on this error here, uh, you will get to this page. This is uh, similar to Android that um, Apple and Xcode also wants us to sign our APK. You actually need an Apple developer account in order to distribute that. I don't have that, but if you just have an Apple account, then you can use that for development purposes. So here under team, you would need to um, add this account. I already did that here with my account. You need to select that. And then we also need to give it a proper bundle identifier. So like our package name on Android, let's give this a proper name of just CMP data store. Try that again. Okay, for some reason it always adds that. Uh, the attribute name is invalid. Maybe it doesn't like underscores. Let's try that instead. And get rid of that. Try that again. Apparently Xcode doesn't like that there is this CMP dash data store. I'm not sure if... The spelling is the issue, but it always <laughs> adds that here automatically because there is some sort of name that seems to not be compatible. Okay, apparently just after hitting enter here in this text field, it seems to work to change this um, bundle identifier to something that Xcode likes. Once you did that, you can again go to product and archive. Then the build will not immediately fail this time, but rather say that it's building here. And this will take a little moment and after that, it should open a little window for us to proceed. There we go. This little window here popped up after the build was successful. We have our iOS app archive. And if you now want to distribute that app to um, the Apple App Store, you can hit distribute app. For me, that won't work since I don't have an Apple developer account. You also need that. But here in the next step, you could then choose, okay, App Store Connect to distribute it to the App Store directly. Um, test flight is some kind of internal testing track. Um, so if you want to distribute the app in your team, add a few more, um, but these two are probably the most important ones here. Then you hit distribute and everything um, or the other instructions would follow afterwards. Awesome. Coming to desktop last here. For desktop, of course, there are also different operating systems we might deal with. So specifically macOS, Windows and Linux are the most popular ones. And by default, Compose multi-platform projects already contain the relevant Gradle config to build for these platforms. So if we open our builder Gradle file, scroll down a little bit, then you will find this down here under Compose Desktop that the target formats are DMG, so that's the executable file for macOS, MSI for Windows, and DEB for uh, Linux. And in order to now build our project and package together such an executable file, we need to use a Gradle task. So here in terminal, let's type Gradle W followed by package together with the abbreviation you want to build for. Here it's worth to mention that this only works for the platform you're currently working on. So I'm on macOS, so I can only build DMG files. If you are on a Windows environment, you can only build MSI files and only DEP files on a Linux environment. I'm not currently aware of any way around that um, other than just opening the project on these different platforms and building it there. Maybe there are or will be some, some sort of cloud solutions where you can just um, delegate this build process to so that there is some kind of cloud Linux server where you say, hey, please build me this depth file cloud Windows server where you say, please build me this MSI file. Um, but for now, we can only try this for the platform we're running on. So if you are on macOS, Gradle W, package DMG, hit enter, and then everything else will already be done by Gradle. And that was successful. If we now take a look here in our project hierarchy, this macOS installable file should pop up somewhere here. This one is now under build. Um, so build, compose, binaries, and here is your DMG folder um, where we find our DMG file. If we right click that and open that in our finder, we will have that over here. And if we double tap that, then this typical window from macOS will pop up where we can take this, drag it into applications, then it will be installed. If we then try to find this uh, by its package name, so com PL coding, there we go, CMP data store, we find this here, uh, we can open it. And then here we will have our ready-made program which crashes here, um, probably because of some uh, preferences issue, because I don't have the necessary permissions. Um, but the program itself works, we can launch it, and that is what this video should be about. Awesome, hope you enjoyed this. If you're looking for more advanced Android and Kotlin multi-platform courses, check the first link in this video's description. And other than that, thanks so much for watching. I will see you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.